Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How everybody doing on this Monday morning? Good morning. So, we just gonna get into it. And today gonna be a sit down talk video because more than likely tomorrow gonna be a clean my office with me. So, I need to do a sit down video before we get into that but good morning everybody and i need to go ahead and hit those topics that i wanted to talk about as we go along with the year a lot of things that's mixed in with my life that's not topic specific like you'll have to get the information while you're watching the live because i just inadvertently talked about it while we was live so what I want to talk about this morning is what is a planner funk for me? Have I ever been in a planner funk? So, what is a planner funk? A planner funk is when you don't want to plan in your planner. Like, you're a planner, you're a consistent planner. You have your weekly, your monthly, your daily, then. All of a sudden, you fall off of your planning. You don't want to plan in your planner, write in your planner. You don't pull your planner out. You're not doing all the things that you usually would do, which means you're in a planner funk. So, yeah, that's what a planner funk is. Just what it is. You're in a funk with your planner situation whether it's your planner whether it's the things whether it's what's motivated maybe you're distracted in your mind but that's a planner phone that a planner phone can be caused by many a teens many a teens can cause a planner phone have i ever been in a planner phone girl yes girl yes my biggest planner phone that i remember is right before i found happy planner and that was my biggest plan of funk to date just because it was so hard for me that transition it was hard i wasn't happy with none of my current situations they wasn't given enough it wasn't enough art decor um i remember going to dealers and looking at planners i can't think of that brand but I was just looking at planners everywhere and it just wasn't, nothing was the planner that sparked a joy for me until I seen the Happy Planner in Michael's that day. So that was the last time I was in a planner funk. Um, I don't go in planner funks often just because, not, yeah, just because I picked my planner to give me what I want it to give. I kind of know what I want my planner to give me. So it's hard for me to go into a planner funk because I know what I want and what I need. I also can purchase me something that will spark jar, whether I'm getting bored or it's not, just not popping like I wanted to pop, then I can go and find me a sticker, a little setup, a little functional, a little decorative and pimp my ish out and that'll make me simply get it always come through with a pretty ass washy new washy new design new sparkles what you call that starters yeah that that is what keeps me out of a planner funk so what causes planner funk is anything can cause a planner funk it can be in your personal life it could be in your anything can cause a planner funk if you allow it that means you're opening up your planner to your personal life you're opening up your planner to your work life you open up your so it can become a place of where you de-stress it become a place of that causes stress because it's now a part of your relationship when it shouldn't be to me <laughs> so yeah, it's just one of those things, one of them things that is, it can be caused by anything, not necessarily just your planner, it could be what's going on around you, but yeah, also within your planner, it could be the paper, it could be the planner, it could be the stickers that you use, it could be the size, it could be a lot of reasons why you in a planner funk, but you personally gonna have to figure out what, what makes you happy with your planner 
your pages, your design, your layout, how you like to think about it and plan your things. And then that's what you dive into and that's what you focus on to come up out of your planner phone. Um, you can become too busy to plan. So that's me. I don't really go into planner phones, but I do sometimes get too busy to plan. What I mean by that is, I'm not a person who put my personal life in my planner. So when my personal life get busy, my planner get a little neglected. So it's not there as much, but that's that's me. So if I'm too busy, then my planner, I get to when I get to, which it's normal. But yeah, it, it also don't cause me to go into a planner phone because I know like my personal life is busy or I'm busy with kids shit this whatever season and then I get back to it. But it's never where like if I'm busy, then I'm busy for like three days straight. But I always have to slow down because my momentum, my rest, just normal shit. I'm going to get back to, I have to get to resting. And this is my rest and my comfort, my planner, my, this is my hobby. So this is what brings me joy. This is what relaxes me to be able to, when my life get back busy, to plan for, usually because I plan, I already done planned in my planner to be busy doing that amount of, doing whatever time I'm busy. If I'm busy for the next four days, I already knew I was gonna be busy for the next four days because my planner told me, unless it's an unexpected thing. And when it's unexpected, what happens is I work around it. Whenever I get a rest period or some downtime, then I plan other than that. And now I can plan for this time that became busy or this situation that done occurred. That makes sense. Y'all got it, good. Not getting new shit for your planner. Let's talk about it. That can cause a planner phone that can cause oh, but, uh, mm, for some people not all it's according to what type of person you are so you know the people who don't buy minimalist so imagine that so if you're a minimalist of course you're not the type of person who have to get new shit for your planner in order for it not to bring you joy. But like, if you're, if you're a person that likes new things, indulging in new things and having fresh, new, this or that, seasonally, occasionally, then that this would be what I'm saying for you. Not getting no cute shit, like not get, and it may not even be cute. You may not even be a planner person who likes cuteness. You could be, darkness you could be florals you could be just whatever is new for you no new basic shit whatever whatever type of person you is no new what's that neutral shit you know what i'm saying like you want neutral everybody coming out with color stuff now you're not able to find nothing that brings you joy in your planner situation because you wanted some neutral things that right there so that right there is can cause you to go into planner phones and cause you not to be happy with your situation. You also cannot be happy with what you're using. You can flip flop planners. That's why I say don't follow what planner I'm using because unless you just like me, like y'all have watched me enough planning my situations, planning my planners. Y'all know my favorite colors, my favorite things. Y'all know a lot about me. So if you know you are uh, gra like me, then yeah. But if you know like, yeah, nah, I ain't with Tino on none of that. Then you will know it'll be a different, like you, whatever you using. I knew, let me say this. I knew I wasn't happy with using Happy Planner because they never gave us vertical line with the three boxes again. And let me tell you why. While I was still in Happy Planner, two years after that layout and they never gave us that layout i still was in a happy planner until i could figure something out that can bring me the equal amount of joy that i was getting from happy planner like i'm not just jumping ship without a damn life jacket on so i just kept my little robe i kept my protection on and floated my ass on in the damn water on a little piece of board until then, somebody came and rescued me. Rescue me. 
come burning in hot rescue me baby somebody had to come rescue me and that's just how it was so until i find i found vertical lines the way i like it i do not like wide rule and i found that here we are <laughs> still happily planning there was no shift no major change nothing i seamlessly went from my disc bound planner to core bound planner i seamlessly y'all saw me i seamlessly went right on into that and at one moment in time i was using coils and disc bound until now i'm fully coiled for the time being until whatever whatever pop up you have to be happy with what you're using because that's what's gonna get you to using it you got that is nothing nobody can tell you they can only show you them using their things and if that's something that you can see yourself using for your lifestyle or whatever me personally i've never gotten into that i can't look at somebody else plan and figure out how i can use that planner to plan me personally i have to have the planner why because paper stickers washi tape i use things that they don't use my liners let's just talk about the gel ink i use that's a major not many women use wet gel ink they use markers child your guess is good as mine but y'all use markers in y'all planners and so that's a big thing for me so my planner must accept all of those teams without messing up the other side of the paper when i'm getting ready to write on the next day or the next week so all that matters to me and somebody else no matter who it is brother sister cousin uncle grandma baby sister mama baby baby sitter cannot just tell me that the planner they use can work for me because then when i use it if it's not it, it, that's not working for me it's not working for me it's not working for me there's always options this day and age you always have options there have been a time where it was like three options like you go to office depot staples or you go to target walmart doing school back to school times i remember the times baby i can only get a planner that started for back to school that was so i mm, i did not like that because they started in July and then they ended in June. I ain't like that. I never liked it that start end date of a planner. Never did, never did. But that was like, that was the option I had. I used what I had. So that's how I know like, that's how I know I'm an avid planner. That's just who I am. I'm all the signs of a planner. Love pens, love paper love new pens love new paper i love writing i love yeah organizing my things and having my ish i love not nobody touching my pens that type of stuff like that energy cannot be duplicated you cannot pretend that energy because all that you can use my pen mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's on period so we have our little quirks baby but it works baby that is what is a planner funk and i stay away from planner funks like i said i haven't been in a planner funk since the time i went from a blue sky planner which was the last plan that i had got at target like in 2014 and then yeah that's the last time i was in a planner funk because yeah it's so like i said it's so it, planners are definitely accessible and yeah and i just knew the next thing to try would have been an aaron condren just because not nothing in particular but the subtle flex of aaron condren like nobody said that it didn't say how good it was how good the paper was or whatever but it was the consistency of it like, oh, she used the Aaron Country for the last six years. It's the consistency of how long they stay. Everybody else was in their plan like a year or two. Like, I've been planning with this plan a year or two. For me, with my layouts being taken and I'm not able to 
use what I love and what I've been introduced to from Happy Planner, it made me start looking at, uh, mm, maybe I need to be with a, uh, my main planner needs to be a planner layout. That's not going to change. Ever. You see what I'm saying? Like, ever. And also, give me lines. Oh, but forever. Don't take the lines away. <laughs> Don't take the lines away. <laughs> None of that. So, that was my thinking. And yeah, like I said, I, I made the perfect choice. I was going to say, maybe I made the perfect choice. Girl, I don't even have to think about it no more. I know I made the perfect choice. I know, like, my... It's going to be hard. I've seen people who used to use an Erin Condren go to other planner companies. But I also see that they not genuinely. It's not the same genuality. They don't give it the same. You was giving me more joy when you was in your EC. So until they can give me a new joy as a multitude of people where they are, then yeah, I ain't falling for no hype. <laughs> Yeah, cause just because I'm, I I don't I don't go for hype. I don't go for what's trending. I don't really go for what's. I'm not a girl that's like majority of. I'm definitely a small little. What they call that? I'm oddball. So by me being oddball, I'm usually gonna like what's not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna like what majority love. I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. What was the planner funk? Answer y'all questions. I, the three questions I answered was, what is the planner funk? What causes the planner funk? And has I, has I, and have I ever been in a planner funk? And I definitely answered all those questions. If y'all have any questions, any comments about being in a planner funk, comment them down below and let's answer them. <laughs> So, or if you got a statement, just state what your planner funk was. If if you remember the last time you was in a planner funk, or if you in a planner funk right now, girl, tell us. Let us know. Talk to us. Because we trying to see something right quick. We trying to see something right quick. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day. And bye, y'all.